My name is Len Robson, Public Works Manager for the City of Penticton. I'm here today to talk to you about a very important decision the City of Penticton has to make. The decision is how we handle our sewage treatment plant residuals. I'm going to start today by talking to you a little bit about our process. When the sewage uh, leaves your home, it all ends up down at the wastewater treatment plant. At this particular plant, our job is to separate the water from the solids. We treat both the water and the solids so that it's safe to go back into the environment. Come along with me and we'll talk a little bit about the process. The first stop on our process is the screens. The screens is the location where the plant filters out all of the non-organic items from our process. Items such as non-disposable wipes and small children's toys. Following the screening, our wastewater goes to the primary treatment process, which is directly behind me. In that section of the plant, the sewage is slowed down, the solids are allowed to settle to the bottom, which can be skimmed off for treatment. Following primary treatment, the water portion of our wastewater goes through several more processes within the plant, ending up at this location. At this location, the water is further clarified, treated with UV protection, chlorinated, in preparation for safe distribution on our sports fields and parks within the city of Penticton. After primary treatment, our solid stream is sent through a couple of other processes within the plant to remove the additional water and make the product ready for composting. So once our solids leave our wastewater treatment plant, they're trucked up to the Campbell Mountain Landfill Solids Composting Facility. At this facility, we mix solids with yard waste and dimensional white wood waste and we allow the material to compost for up to six months. During that process, the, the material is turned into a safe, environmentally friendly compost, which is then screened and sold to customers or used on our parks and our sports fields. It is at this site where we have a decision to make. Our site is no longer meeting regulatory compliance. That's why we're doing a study to review our options. Stay informed at shapeyourcitypenticton.ca.